folks, this is Paul. I'm here to show you some of the developments on the gmappedometer.com app that has uh, been steadily getting built up over the last few months. There was a screencast a little while ago that showed you some of those initial UI elements, and I'm going to go ahead and show you some more of what's happened along the way. As you see here, the uh, app now has a start out screen which lets you choose between creating a new route or viewing and editing the ones you already have. Obviously, the big new feature there is the fact that you can save the routes on the app now. When I choose to view the routes that I've saved before, it gives me the date that I created them, as well as the mileage. Uh, one thing that's been added along the way so far is that mileage and kilometers can appear together, or just one, if that's what you prefer. Here's a route that I'd previously been working on. As you can see, there are uh, actually there are no mile markers yet, so let's go ahead and fix that. We'll give you an example of a route that gives you the mileage. Let's see, now that's, that came out a little bit funny, so I'm going to hit undo. And now we'll make my route go this way. You'll remember the zoomed in view that lets you see uh, in greater detail the area that you're trying to map. Obviously that's still there. And once we cross a threshold that should give us some sort of mile marker, you will see those appear. The convention here is that you got your start marker at in green, end in red, and then along the way the purple one, the mile markers are all going to be purple. They obviously don't have the number directly on them as they do on the website, but if you click on them, they, that call out will pop up and give you the information you need. And clicking anywhere on the screen will dismiss those. Now right now we're looking at mileage as well as kilometers. I imagine most people are going to want to look at just one or the other, so we can use this drop down here to choose just miles, which causes the kilometers to disappear and display to adjust accordingly. Or you can view kilometers only as you prefer. So now when I go back to the bookmarks, marks here stand for bookmarks, you'll see that the changes that I've made have, are reflected here and the entry that was present for that route. Another thing that you'll notice is if I were to switch back to mileage and kilometers, its entry in the bookmark list reflects that as well. The automatic routing that you use on the website is now present for the app as well. So as you've been seeing, this route has been following the roads based on the assumption that I'm a runner. But if I switch to manual in order to have a little bit more fine-tuned control, I do have the ability to go exactly where I want, even if it's a little bit impossible. We can switch back and forth between routes. This is obviously one that's a little bit longer. One thing that you'll notice is that there is no save button on the app. You should be pretty safe from anything going wrong while you're trying to create your route because saving happens automatically. Every time there's a change on the route, that change is saved. So no matter what you do, you can't lose data. Let's switch this into miles and kilometers so that we have an example of that. And as you can see, it's there. And if I want to go ahead and create a new route, of course, we have that option as well. And as before, you can zoom in to wherever you like. Let's try something different this time. And go ahead and start creating another new route. The features that are still to be developed are cleaning up a little bit and making a nicer, a nicer UI and most importantly, synchronizing your routes with the ones that you've already built up on the website. So it will be possible for you to enter your username and password from the gmappedometer.com website and load in all of your routes from there, as well as have all the routes that you may have created on your phone uploaded to that site, and then you could use them in your workout log or um, whatever the other features are that you like best about gmappedometer.com. Thanks for your time today, and uh, I hope you are looking forward to this app as much as I'm looking forward to releasing it to everybody. Thanks.